Ventilators are key to supporting and sustaining critically ill COVID-19 patients. Now, ramping up production is one thing, but working under a global pandemic, that's completely another. Mark Goyet is the operations general manager at GE Healthcare, and he's going to talk to me about the protocols that have been put in place. Hey, okay, Mark, uh, I'm yes. filming you. So um, the way we're going to do the, the lab is uh, it's sanitized. Uh, the mic all the way through the receiver is all good. Okay, and then I just want you to come and pick it up. We've set up these extra tents over here so that we have space so we can uh, promote social distancing with our breaks. We're doing a lot of onboarding training for people. So again, we want to be able to spread out. We've done some of our leadership stand-up meetings. As we're working to increase capacity, we have a lot more engineers here in some of our conference rooms. Uh, they're setting up war rooms to increase test and fixturing. So we just need to increase our amount of working space Again, to keep people apart and to not interfere with production wherever we can do that. How are people adapting to it all? Uh, you know, every, every day a little bit more. Certainly people, uh, there's, there's a demand for this type of uh, space and area for people to promote social distancing. And I think, uh, I think like all of us in society, we're, we're learning what's a little bit unnatural for us is to stay away from people we know and we like. You know, we're, we're all learning this new normal for as long as it's going to be where we need to keep a little bit more space between us. It's, it's difficult and it's not natural, but the more we can create these spaces and to the best of our ability as a leadership team promote it, uh, we're trying to do that. This uh, space here we're using as a break space, as training space, uh, and it's also where the leadership team at the site here is rallying for the the 9 a.m. leadership stand-up. Now, we'd, we'd much prefer, and historically, we would have done this in the plant, but where it was done before, we just couldn't uh, keep the social, the social distance. I mean, increasing, increasing the demand by three, four, five, 15 times in some cases is, is difficult enough, let alone under the conditions imposed for health and safety by COVID-19. Now, that, that's absolutely right. I mean, be, before this, you think a production line, you want to you want to condense. You don't want there to be extra space. You don't want extra material movement. And so what we're trying to do is ramp up capacity in a way that's a little bit foreign to the way that we've come to learn about, uh, about production efficiency. Are you having to constantly remind yourself to keep your we, distance? We, we are continuing to have to help to remind each other in, in a friendly way. You know, we're, we're looking out for each other. And, you know, with, with all these people coming to the factory to help, and I've worked at the company for a, a long time, I'm seeing people that I haven't seen in a long time. And the first thing I want to do is, you know, give them a hug or shake their hands. And you got to remind yourself that that's, that's not the right thing to do right now.